Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. And welcome back. Well, I mean, good news on the horizon, I would imagine. I mean, we've got pharmaceutical companies fighting over. It's like a pissing match. Um, uh, they're fighting over the effectiveness of their vaccines, which, I mean, is a good problem to have, I think. Everybody fights over everything. I wanted to bring this up yesterday. Oh, you're talking about what, Pfizer and that other company that's... Uh, Moderna. You know, so the Pfizer one, you have to refrigerate really cold. And the Moderna one, you don't have to refrigerate really cold. Oh, okay, but this is what... That's what I heard the difference is. Uh, one's 90 no. and one's 95. No, 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 no. The difference is 94. So Moderna came to the market first, right? And they're like, they're like hey, we got a vaccine. It's 94% effective. And... Pfizer in the most Jeremy move that I've ever, mm-hmm. I've ever heard in my life. Bring it. The next day they come out and they say, they we say, did it better. You know what? <laughs> we have a vaccine now and guess what? It's 95% effective. <laughs> Dude, I'm so wasted. Oh, sorry. Sorry. That's the, that's the wrong one. I think this is hilarious because everybody's fighting about everything now. Not only, like, like I mean, what is the difference between 94% effective and 95% effective? I mean, really. 1%, is, Jeff. Well, I understand that. I understand that. So 94%. Okay, well, you were asking. But 94%. It's a little better. Effective. You can still say you're better. I guess if you're one of the six people that it wasn't effective on, it's a big difference to you, right? Or one of the five people that it wasn't effective on, it's a big difference to you. I want ninety eight, ninety nine. Come on, give me some of that. Where's that? Where's that? Well, I'm, we're getting there, and you know the nice thing is that we already get. I mean, we're. I mean, here's the thing: we were told by the current president that this was going to happen before the year was over. The media told us it wasn't going to happen until January, February, March, or April. And you know what? They came through. These pharmaceutical companies, and I guess Dolly Parton had a big role in this. Did you hear about this? Uh, yeah, she, a, she donated a, a million bucks. Donor. Yeah, a million dollars to help fund some of this. I think I have some of that here. Take a listen. Oh, well, that's what I heard. I only <laughs> heard that this morning on my way over here. And I thought, well, praise the Lord <laughs> that I'm just so happy that anything that I've done could help in any way. If I had anything to do with it, then that's great. So she supported the Moderna one. The Moderna one, according to their reports, are 94%. Pfizer, where, where's your celebrity? Who's your celebrity donor? Well, Pfizer's only 90. Nobody wants to support that. You know what they're going to do. <laughs> no, Pfizer was 95. Oh, wait, I thought Pfizer... Moderna was 94, Pfizer was 95. Well, who, who, I thought Pfizer came out with Moderna. 90 per, in the beginning. Moderna came like out. Like last week. They, they did last month. So oh, last month like, they had 90. And now they have 95? Yeah. Okay. They've ramped it I'll up. I'll take, hey, 90, anything over 90 sounds pretty good to me. Now, the funny thing about this is I believe Pfizer has a press conference scheduled with Reba McIntyre later on today. <laughs> <laughs> is Reba bigger than Dolly? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Probably not. Reba. No, I think she is. I mean, she had a TV they wanted, show. They wanted Whitney, but Whitney was not alive anymore, so they had to settle for Reba. It's kind of funny, the... Uh, the I mean, the money behind pharma, big pharma in this country is just remarkable. It's pretty awesome, though, that if you have that kind of money, uh, that you can give it and uh, that you can give it to, to such a great cause. You know, I, was, I saw a story, uh, and I, we talked about this back in the day, uh, that George Clooney gave his 14 closest friends $1 million. Whoa. Oh. Right. Don't you wish I you would have stuck with old, well, what was his name, uh, Booker? We <laughs> stuck with Booker back in the day? When, well, my, he, when my, he thought he was a nobody? My, is Lori Metcalf getting any of that? Because she dated him, okay? She dated him on Roseanne. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, and, and I, Jackie, I, it doesn't say their names. It didn't and, go into who actually got the money. Jackie should have got something for that because, I mean, Booker just skipped town and became wildly attractive and a huge movie star while she was still there working at the, what the hell plant was in Roseanne where they were, all worked at, where Booker was the boss? Wasn't it a, uh, I forget now. They made widgets or something? <laughs> widgets? What are widgets? I don't know. Widgets is something you download for your phone. 
No, I don't think the '80s version of a widget. Okay, I'm gonna look. Yeah, I know widget. it was different than uh, back widget. then. What is, it, what is a widget? And and of course, because I'm asking Google, they're gonna say, "Oh, it's something for your phone." Uh, use widgets on your phone. Uh, widgets. Uh, uh, yeah, it's one all- million dollars in cash. He just he dropped it off. He said, "There you go." I have some friends that have money. Gadgets, uh, according to Merriam-Webster's dictionary. If you're friends with somebody that has that kind of money. And they said, you know what? You've been a good friend to me. Would you take that money? There could be strings attached. No, that's why I wouldn't take that money. Oh, I would would take it. Would definitely be strings attached. That's fine. You you can own me. That's fine. A million bucks? No. Come on. For a million bucks. I can put a down payment. Me? I can put a down payment on a house around here. Not, not, no. Work for the money. I'm going to keep working. I'm not giving up. A million, you can't live on a million, but I'll sure take a million. But then you want somebody to own you? So if I'm I, not going to own you, but, you know, definitely. So, okay, you're, yes, a, if they call you down the road and they say, hey, I need you to come help me. We have an agreement. You and I have an agreement. The uh, lotto agreement? The lotto agreement. Yeah. The lotto agreement says that if a lottery jackpot is over $20 million and one of us wins and the other person bought a ticket for the same lotto. Yeah. That that person has the winner has to give the other person upon proof of purchase of the ticket from the same lotto drawing, right? A million dollars, a million and a half. It no, was, that was, was that was the deal between you and Chiba. That was not. No, you said you do a million and a half. I have it on tape. I said I do a million. Okay, he's well, adjusting for inflation. I have I have it on tape. I said I do a million. I'll bring it out. Sometime. Go ahead, and bring it out, uh, and because I know I what I would have agreed to. Um, I would think that it would be a million. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Let's see, um, it has to be over twenty though. Uh, but yeah, it has to be over the jackpot. It has to be over twenty. I think you and Chiba were like in the spirit of the season. You're like, well, I'll give you a million and a half, and you were like, oh, I'll give you one point six because yeah. that's what you do. But where were you going? Like, with you're this? like you're like Pfizer and, and Moderna. Um, but my my thing is, you're saying that now if I win the lotto and I give you a million dollars, I owe you. I own you? No, I mean, we have I, that's a previous I, deal. I no, own you. Th- th- you said if there was gives, no deal. If no, I said if dollars, I had a friend, I own you. if I had a friend that had that kind of money and he just gifted it to me, just said, "Here you go." Here's a I million. Be bucks. Giving, I would be gifting it to you, though. I mean, here you go. I want. I you want, don't want to say who those people are either, because then they have to pay taxes on it. You don't want that to happen. Well, you're, how are you going to hide a million dollars? Easy, launder. You launder it. Ask you, Wesley Snipes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work out for Wesley. You do understand that laundering money is just not sticking it in the washing machine, right? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> I do know that. Yeah, that is true. I don't know. That would be, I would be, I would lose sleep at night. Like, no, I would be worried. But man, when you're gifted something, you have to give, like, I think it's, it's a huge percentage. I would give you, I would give you the million dollars, but guess what? <laughs> what? You'd turn me into the government? I would turn you into the IRS <laughs> He's immediately. such a jerk, of course you would. <laughs> My wife and I? I mean, this is somebody, and we talked about it a little bit earlier. We used to earlier. do it. Uh, Woods did a deal where you could bring your dog, and Santa Claus was there, and so, you know, we went and did that a couple times. Not doing it this And time, I would do that if they did it, because it was a good support for Woods, and it was neat to see the other dogs and stuff. But other than that, no, I'm not going out and booking. That's that's what your wife does. That's uh, And I know that's not you. That's what she likes. She likes the photos. I mean... I've seen her Instagram, which is really good. I don't know why you pay for it, though, because she does such a great job. <laughs> and nowadays, you know, with the phone, you can, uh, with the watch, oh, she have the we're watch. friends with the photographer. Now, so, so when the photographer's like, hey, I'm doing my Christmas pictures, you can't say no because you're friends with them, you know? It's so annoying because you have to get in different outfits. Are you not, just doing one outfit? Not me. Not me. I don't have to get in different outfits. But kids do. I do feel bad for the kids because they have to get into PJs in Creston. Uh, tonight, and uh, who knows how cold it gets in Creston. Is it like 10? Does it get down to 10 in Creston? No, it's not that cold. Tonight? No, it, it's like Paso weather. Yeah, uh, It's like Creston weather. It's, it's, this, it this might be a, a degree cooler than Paso. It's a different dynamic, okay? But you it's have, not too bad. You have the, uh, <laughs> fr- the, the warming from other structures being around in Paso Robles. You don't get that luxury in Creston. So uh, there you go. The rest of us will be thinking about you as we're watching the Seahawks so, and the Cardinals and tonight. Now, I don't live just down the street in Templeton. I live in Arroyo Grande. That's a long trip back. You're sitting there eating your nachos and drinking your beer or whatever you do to watch Thursday Night Football. Just think of Jeff. He's going to be outside in the cold with kids that are freezing in PJs mm-hmm. getting their Christmas pictures taken. Cranky like a after lot of a long day. <laughs> I hope they get naps today. You gotta, do you dangle the carrot when you do stuff like this? Like, hey, 
as soon as we're done here, we're going to go get, I don't know, hot chocolate or ice cream or I don't know. It's wintertime, so they may not want ice cream. The problem is you can't eat anywhere inside because otherwise we would just stop off in a Tascadero, watch whatever we can before halftime at a restaurant that's got a TV inside, but can't do that. And now, now you have to come all the way back to AG because that's where you're staying. You're going to well, you can't everything. do it now because you can't go inside. And I'm not going to yeah. sit outside and watch TV because I don't even know. What, what's in Creston at night? A barn? Or what are you doing this in? The well, stars. Why, why do you have to go all the way to Creston? From what I hear, the stars are out and they're big and bright. You know, it's supposed to be cloudy tonight. Deep in the heart of, of Creston. Creston. <laughs> <laughs> I know you grew up here. Um, you know, you're closer to his age than we are. You know what's funny is um my uh my dad he's um his second wife mm-hmm. like she was somehow like either related or friends of friends to Zac Efron and his family. Hmm. That makes so, sense. I mean it is you know It's 33 by the way. <laughs> so so really? he was he was he was just trying out for shows like High School Musical when Cameron was born. So I don't know how <laughs> how close that would that would be. I've talked to people that knew who he was, said he was a nice kid. Uh, I don't know. I've not previewed the sound. Vanessa Hudgens, his ex-girlfriend from High School Musical, um, knows exactly what she wants in her next relationship. What do you think the odds are, she says, somebody that lives in on the central coast of California so I can get back at my ex? <laughs> <laughs> not high? I don't know much about her except for her name. Not high? Uh, but yeah, I'm going to say that's pretty low. Let's see. Let's see what she says. At the end of the day, it's just about having similar fundamentals and wanting the same things. Like, I am not picky. I am. I'm extremely picky. But, like, (laughs) I know what I want. And I'm like, if someone comes into the picture and can give me all those things, then great. It doesn't matter if they're in the public eye or not. If anything, I would prefer them not to be. But we'll see. Not in the public eye. And located on the Central Coast, right next to where my ex-boyfriend, my famous ex-boyfriend would be, would be a good way to get back at your ex-boyfriend. Right? What do you want to call up uh, her, his, uh, his former high school best friend and uh, maybe try to hook up with him yeah, yeah. to get back at him? Yeah, or, they, or his oh, nemesis, oh, yes, one? arch nemesis. Could <laughs> yeah. you imagine that? <laughs> Did you have an arch nemesis in high school? Who had an arch nemesis? I didn't have an arch nemesis. I mean, I had definitely had people that I didn't like. That I thought were kind of jerks, but I never thought like there wasn't my arch nemesis. Just avoided yeah, it's them. very funny. The person that I would I could closely consider the most my arch nemesis were pretty amicable to each other on Facebook. Now, like I have more interactions with him than I do a lot of the people that I consider my close friends in high school. Was and this a friend of yours? It was a guy. It was a fellow um, uh, basketball player. Oh, so you were competitive. Uh, yes, we were competitive, and it was bad competitive. Like, we were getting fights in practice. But you're still friends with him. But now... I like, mean, I'm not talking about Facebook. I would, have, I would have not considered him a friend in high school oh, at all, 100%. Really? Some of the things he did, I'd laugh at because we were, you know, comrades, I right, guess, right, to right. some exp- extent because we were on the basketball team together. But I remember this one time he got mad at a girl and he spit in her face and I thought that was very poor taste. Oh, God. And, um, it, 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 and, I mean, just a lot of things. Immature. Well, I mean, he was, he was, high school. He was like 15. So, I mean, you know, I mean, give him, give him a break now, looking back on it. At oh, the yeah. time, I held the grudge. And, um, and we were getting fights in, because we played the same position and we were always jockeying for that playing time. So we would get in fights with each other in practice. Have I met this person? No, you've never met Joey. Um, and uh, but now he's got a family and kids. I've got a family and kids. Amazing how that works. And out. it's people and, grow up and have. Families. And we have these conversations about basketball back in high school right. and how stupid we were. And you know, he's he would kick my ass now because he's like ripped and works out <laughs> religiously and all that stuff. But it, it's just it's it's very it's very funny. Um, you know how time actually can you know heal the wounds oh sure or in vanessa hudgens case because i look at the vanessa hudgens zach efron a relationship as one that zach emerged the winner out of that one 
We don't know what Vanessa's doing right now. I yeah, don't even no, no. know he's, what, what he's she was. good. I mean, you saw him in the Ted Bundy thing he's funny. on, on uh, yeah, Netflix. I, I'm sorry, he's a good actor too. He's a great actor. He's a good actor. He yeah, was he's funny too. He's not funny in the Ted Bundy thing. <laughs> no, he's a great actor. I thought he was hilarious and but, adorable. But in the one where he's in the frat house and the and right. the, what's his face is next door. Yeah. Oh, neighbors. Yeah, neighbors. neighbors yeah, that, he was great in that. <laughs> That's a great. Too. I mean, um, no, he's a very talented actor, and apparently he can sing and dance. Because isn't that what high school music oh, is yeah. all about? I, yeah. So he's a pretty talented. Kid. His most embarrassing moment has to be, and I know this because my daughter loves high school music. I shouldn't say kid; he's thirty three. Um, is when he was a kid, and the High School Musical two, uh, the uh, directors made him sing a solo song on the golf course in New Mexico running down the fairway one of the most embarrassing most embarrassing like you watch this for this kid uh, who was a kid at the time and you're like man i can't believe disney made these this kid do this it's so it's so embarrassing <laughs> i you know <laughs> and how many kids a strong world <laughs> and i'm sure i would love to know how much he got paid because i would do the same thing if i got paid well, that yeah, kind of money you would let somebody own you for a million dollars right? for god's <laughs> sakes i lost a bet i had to stand in a diaper and get guacamole thrown at me by strangers with a wearing a baby bonnet and nothing but a diaper. Yeah, that but was, not as well, many people. I also people... have that picture of you in that bikini, Jeremy. Yeah. No, that's yeah, that's. But not as many people have seen that as have I seen, can change that. Have seen... <laughs> no, I guarantee you, it's not going to be Zac Efron type numbers ever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know anything about Vanessa Hudgens except for what you just said about her, and I knew her name. I thought she was a singer. I guess she's an actress. But both. Well, okay. If you if you watched any high school musical, I, yeah. you would know that. But I haven't. It's no, on my list. Trust me. There's no reason for you to watch high school musical. <laughs> trust me.